Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another attempt at a beer review. This beer uh, was donated to me by a Beer Dad subscriber, close friend, I've known him since he was 11 years old, Mr Kevin Skinley, and this is Final Pulse by the uh, Wild and Brewery. I think they're up in Newcastle, I think. Yep, they are. Wild and Brewery, Newcastle upon Tyne. Beautiful. Um, this is the, I say Final Pulse IPA. There it is. And this weighs in at, if I can find it, 6.8%. Says so right there in big white letters. Best before this one, if I can find it, is, here we go. <coughs> 1st of October 19, right at the bottom there, just above the two pint symbol. So it's just there. Love a bit of wine. And last time I had wine and beers, I was at the Liverpool Craft Beer Expo, which was last July. I am going again this year. Got my tickets sorted. So if any of you are going to that, I'm going on Saturday evening. Keep an eye out for me. Come over and say hello. And whatnot. Anyway, enough ramble. Let's get cracking on the beer. Okay, so bearded last, what have we got? We've got ourselves a hazy uh, bright orange beer. Well, from your side it's a hazy orange, bright orange beer. Well, not so much bright, but orange. This side has got a little bit of a bare look about it. It's got two fingers of densely compact white soapy head. It looks absolutely beautiful. There's no floaters. Can't see any carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be there. There's a couple of bubbles kind of clinging on for dear life around this department around here for the camera can the camera can pick that up oh well never mind I'm not going to sit there and talk about bubbles galore so let's get into the taste bit yeah, the aroma ooh there is there's some nice um, again <coughs> tropical fruits going on with this one it's sweet apricot there's a touch of a little touch of mango um, there's a little bit of resin in there as well there's a little bit of parry coming through it's a nice aroma of malt and of, of, of hops as well it smells great okay here we go really like carbonation I am um, it's just it just explodes in the mouth and it disappears a little bit like having um, like having a bit of sherbet just tsh, flavor gone <coughs> body is a, is a light to medium body works really nicely with, with the carbonation sits in the mouth really well let's go for a big taste That's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. You don't get any alcohol on it at all. Our breweries are getting better and better at hiding this stuff. <coughs> it's beautiful. It's fruity. It's sweet. There's a little touch of resin coming through. But it's majority of it is just ripe, sweet fruit. Peaches, uh, ripe mango. There's a little bit of sort of really ripe tangerines. It's a bit marmalady. It's excellent. It's absolutely excellent. <sighs> wow. What a drink. This is what I think everybody should be getting hold of and giving it a crack. I've got, can't, I can taste sort of sweetness when I lick my lips and it's here. Lovely. <coughs> this is one of the, for me it's one of the best IPAs I've had in a very long time. <coughs> Certainly in the last sort of couple of months, and I've drank a few. Oh, we've got friends to tea. Oh, hello. Here we go. We've got chugs. 
Yeah, you've got chunks. But again, that doesn't bother me, to be fair, which is something a little bit interesting. Nice chunky floaters in the drink. <coughs> ah, well, it's only going to be the yeast or malt, isn't it? More so yeast, I suppose. <coughs> doesn't pop me off. This is a quality, quality drink. It's like drinking fruit juice. It really is. It's like a, a, a sweet fruit smoothie of a drink. But it's not thick and heavy. It's, it's nice and light. <coughs> it is a quality, quality drink. Oh yeah. So first pulse bar yeah, IPA by Wyland. Do I like it? Yeah, I do. It's a Wyland beer. It's 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 gonna be good. Um, would I recommend it to friends? Yes, I'm hoping that Kev bought himself one of these as well. Yeah. Um, if he's need to drink, he's always gonna drink it tonight. I'll be messaging him shortly. Um, because you'll love this. Um, as I say, I know a few who do who will enjoy it. It's quality stuff. Quality of the can. Let's get this down, mate. So, if you have first pulse, let me know what you think. Um, a little comment below. There will be a link to the Wireland Brewery, as I'm using with every review. There's usually a, a link if I can get over to the website. If you're watching for the first time, hit the subscribe button, please, down there. Um, right, thank you for the video. Do that if you don't. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Hey, Leo.